Hi, good day. Let us learn about the reproductive system. The systems of the body are made up of different organs. Each organ plays a specific role to maintain the proper functioning of the body. When one organ is malfunctioning, the human body is affected. Have you ever asked your parents how your family grew and where you have come from? All living things like human beings produce offspring through the process of reproduction. Geneticists explain that when a gamete from the father fuses with the gamete from the mother, fertilization occurs. Then it is followed by reproduction. The male and female reproductive systems are made up of external and internal organs for reproduction. The morphological and physiological structures of the male reproductive system are different from the female reproductive system. The external and internal parts differ in size and shape as well as its functions. Though the parts and functions of the reproductive system are different in some aspects, they are coordinated. The role of the male reproductive system is to produce and transport the sperm cells while the female reproductive system is to produce egg cells for childbearing. Without the fusion of the gamete from the testis of the male organ with the gamete from the female organ, reproduction will not occur. Let us have the morphology and physiology of the male and female reproductive system. Let us start first with the male reproductive system. The urethra is the tube that passes to the penis to the outside of the body which carries urine and sperm. The penis is a soft tubular organ that hangs in front of the body and it's the external sexual organ of the male through which the sperm are delivered into the female's body. It contains erectile tissue that makes the penis larger and stiffer due to increased flow of blood during ejaculation. The testes are made of coiled tubules in which the sperm are produced. They produce the male sex hormones called testosterone for the production of sperm. The epididymis is a coiled U-shaped tube located on the back of each testicle. It stores the sperm for two to four days after they have been produced. The vast difference is the tube that receives sperm from the epididymis of each testicle. The scrotum is a pouch of skin that hangs beyond the penis, houses the testes, and protects the sperm by keeping the temperature of the testes slightly lower than the normal body temperature in order for the sperm to survive. The male organs that work together are the following. Vas deferens. The vas deferens is about 18 inches or 45 centimeters long and loops over the bladder. The second one is called urethra. The valve within the urethra prevents the mixing of urine and sperm. The third is called seminal vesicles. The two seminal vesicles at the base of the bladder secrete a thick fluid that nourishes the sperm. The last one is called ejaculatory ducts. The ejaculatory ducts are the tubes that are lined with muscles. These muscles contract to force the semen out of the body during ejaculation. What is a sperm cell? The sperm cell is produced by the testes. It fertilizes the egg to become a matured ovum. Males have a pair of testes found inside the scrotum. They produce millions of minute sperm cells which can be observed only under the microscope. The sperm cells which come from the testes travel in the epididymis where they are temporarily stored until they are released. The sperm cells are released and move along the vas deferens. Along the way, the sperms are combined with the nutrient secretions from the prostate gland and seminal vesicles. This mixture is called semen. The semen will be transported into the urethra and out of the penis. This time, let us have the parts and functions of the female reproductive system. Ovaries are small and almond-shaped organs. They are located on each side of the body, a few inches below the waist. Just like the testes, they secrete hormones called estrogen and progesterone to produce mature egg cells. The eggs begin to mature when the female reaches puberty. During puberty, 
The ovaries usually produce and release one ripened egg every 28 days. This process is called ovulation. Fallopian tubes are two very fine tubes that extend from each ovary into the uterus. Their main function is to contain the egg until fertilization takes place and to provide a passageway leading to the sperm to the egg and to the fertilized egg to the uterus. Uterus or womb is the hollow, muscular, pear-shaped organ located between the two ovaries. It is here that a fertilized egg develops and grows into a baby. However, if the egg remains unfertilized, the uterus sheds, then leaves the body as menstrual discharge. Cervix is a narrow structure within an inch-long canal connecting to the lower end of the uterus to the upper portion of the vagina. Vagina or birth canal is the hollow tube leading from the cervix to the outside of the body. The wall is elastic, which allows it to expand during childbirth and sexual intercourse. Vulva is the external genitalia that includes the following parts. Mons veneris is the hairy skin covered pad of fat over the pubic bone. Labia minora is the small lips covered with modified skin. Labia majora, the large lips covered with pubic hair. Clitoris is the small almond-shaped erectile tissue covered below junction of two manora. Vaginal orifice is the opening into the vagina. What are the roles of hormones in the reproductive system? Hormones play an important role that regulates the function of a specific organ of the body. They regulate complex chemical substances secreted by the endocrine glands that are carried through the bloodstream to the target organ in many areas of the body. The hormones of the reproductive system carry a specific role during puberty, ovulation, pregnancy, and development. The reproductive glands are controlled by the pituitary gland which is controlled by the hypothalamus. The reproductive glands of boys and girls work at low levels until the age of 10. After this age, hormone levels begin to increase and physical changes start to develop. The hypothalamus releases chemical substances that signal the pituitary gland to start producing two hormones responsible for reproduction, the follicle-stimulating hormone or FSH and the luteinizing hormone or LH. Both males and females produce these kinds of hormones. They affect the testes in men and the ovaries in women. The LH of the male sends signal in the testes to produce testosterone with FSH to control the production of sperm and the growth of facial hair. In females, the pituitary hormones LH and FSH stimulate the ovaries to produce estrogen and progesterone. These hormones are responsible to produce ova or mature egg cells. Other roles of the reproductive hormones are the following. Testosterone regulates the development of the male sex organ in the embryo. It also controls sex drive and secondary sex characteristics at puberty. Ovaries produce estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen controls sex drive and regulates the development of female secondary sex characteristics at puberty, while progesterone controls the development of endometrium or mucous membrane lining the womb during the menstrual cycle and maintenance of uterus during pregnancy. Pituitary gland secretes prolactin, luteinizing hormone, and follicle-stimulating hormone. Prolactin stimulates the production of milk in the mammary glands. Luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone stimulates ovulation, maturation of egg cells, and progesterone production for female, whereas in males, it stimulates sperm and testosterone production. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.